Four years ago, Poland Today made a film called The Future of Warsaw, where we showed the simulations of future projects rising up from the ground. Today I'm sitting in one of those projects, Norblin Factory in the Wola district of Warsaw, a mixed-use scheme built on the site of a former metalworks factory. The projects that we showed in that film have all been completed and are now thriving centres of business and leisure. In this film, we'll show you new and future schemes across Poland that embody the country's increasing economic confidence and strength. They include a project that generated the biggest transaction for a single office asset in the history of the CE market, the tallest building in the European Union, and the largest, most ambitious transport and infrastructure scheme currently underway in Europe, a rail and airport transport hub that will significantly cut travel time between Polish cities and integrate Poland more comprehensively into the global transport and logistics network. We'll start with Galamco, well known internationally for its MIPIM award-winning office tower, Warsaw Spire. Their Warsaw Hub office and mixed-use scheme made international business headlines this year when it was sold to Google for over half a billion euros. The size and nature of a deal, as well as its timing, has sent a powerful reminder to the global business and investment community that Poland is one of the fastest rising business destinations in the world. Galamco completed the Warsaw Unit office tower last year. The commercial and residential real estate developer is now focusing on its latest project, the bridge, which is under construction close to Warsaw Spire. At 174 metres tall and with 47,000 square metres of office space, the bridge will be equipped with state-of-the-art technical and environmentally friendly solutions. ESG is important for a long time, but we really made a big focus on this. We want to bring down the energy consumption in our buildings at least with 25 to 30 percent. This we did by installing in the unit 40,000 sensors, in the hub 80,000 sensors to have all the devices measured so that we can advise our clients how to bring down the, uh, the energy consumption in their space because today the offices are not 100% leased every single hour of the day. But the economy is, uh, is very strong. Uh, I think what is the most important th uh, thing is the mentality of Polish people. They really want to work, they really want to go forward. And when you just see year by year uh, what is happening in this country, how fast it is developing, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. From the biggest deal to the highest tower, Basel Place is international workspace provider H.B. Rivas' mixed-use development in the centre of the city. Comprising three high-rise buildings, it offers offices, a hotel, an innovation hub, ground floor retail and one of the highest observation decks in Europe. Its showpiece Faso Tower, designed by Foster & Partners, is now the tallest building in the European Union at 310 metres. For H.B. Rivas, reconnection with nature is at the core of a company's work. Their forest office campus in Warsaw is among the greenest developments in Poland. Inspired by biophilic design and committed to sustainability, the project offers workspaces tailored to enhance well-being and productivity. Set around a green courtyard filled with 200 new trees, forest employs environmentally friendly solutions that reduce carbon footprint and maximise resources. Capital Park's newly opened Norblin factory is a mix of heritage and modernity, integrating new commercial space in 10 renovated former factory buildings. Norblin factory is a city-forming, truly multifunctional project that creates a destination for the Warsaw community, but also for tourists. It integrates historical buildings from the old factory with modern architecture, so it has this special character that is very unique for Warsaw. Next to Norblin Factory is Warsaw Breweries, Echo Investments' flagship destination scheme combining commercial and residential elements with over 40 food and beverage concepts, public squares and greenery. Since its opening, it has become the hottest place in the city. Warsaw Breweries is a perfect mix of the old and the new. Innovative designs and facilities merge with the historical and industrial features of a former brick brewery. The past has come full circle, because once again at Warsaw Breweries, you can enjoy a beer brewed on site. Another project featured in the Future of Warsaw film was Skyliner, the 195-metre-high flagship office tower developed by Karenpol, a company that has delivered over 200,000 square metres of office space since its arrival in Warsaw in 1997. Now Karenpol is turning its attention to Skyliner 2. 
The high-tech global companies which have made their European and Polish headquarters in Skyliner reflect a huge influx of international businesses and the continuous expansion of domestic companies. This trend continues year by year, swelling a growing middle class who are ambitious and expect the very best from Poland's capital. The most important element of the new uh, centre of Warsaw is actually the area surrounding uh, Palace of Culture and Science, which was for years an example of empty space without any life. Now we are constructing there the Museum of Modern Art, and next to them the new square and the new theatre, which will uh, happen in the next years. Just like in Warsaw, the inhabitants of Poznan want the most out of life, and the city's reputation as an open and welcoming destination is growing around the world. Poznan is bustling with events and attractions. We care about traditions. Poznan is young, Poznan is green, Poznan is active and surprising. Our local food is delicious. Just remember, making a break halfway between Berlin and Warsaw can make you a happy person. Be happy in Poznan! Gdynia has equally high expectations, quality of life is all important and its growing tech and IT workforce is testament to this. Gdynia is the best place to live and do business here because this is simply the Polish headquarter of making the dreams come true. The history of the city dates back not more than 100 years ago and then here it had been simply nothing, just white beach and a very small fishing village. Just 10 years later, the newly built port uh, was the biggest harbour over the Baltic Sea and the most modern one in whole Europe. Today, we live in one of the most modern cities all over Europe. For all these reasons, Capital Park chose the Tri-City as a site for one of Poland's most unique projects currently in development, Polski Hat. Capital Park wants to concentrate on the mixed-use projects, city-forming projects, and uh, there are two projects which are in our immediate pipeline, beautifully located in Gdańsk, top of a peninsula between Motwawa and Martwa Wisła, in the heart of the old shipyard. Capital Park is also creating a new eco-community in the transformational city of Katowice. Nowy Wełnowiec will be a new district located on a 43 hectare plot close to the center of Katowice. It will be climate friendly with no car traffic on the ground and centrally located for hectare park. The project implements 15-minute city concept with public spaces and all functions needed for people to live, work and play. A community built around quality of life is taken to another level in Siewierz near Katowice where Alto is developing 100 hectares for the creation of a sustainable community. Located by a lake and among forests, yet a quick ride from the city centre and next to Katowice Airport and the A1-S1 junction, the scheme is home to more and more new families and businesses every year. And with 50 hectares still available to developers, this small town has very big ambitions. It's not only where you build, but also how that is changing. Skanska Commercial Development Business Unit is creating future-proof and sustainable buildings that support healthy living beyond our lifetime. The company is now planning to build its first entirely climate-neutral office building in the region, located in Prague. To achieve this ambitious goal, the developer is going to use an innovative solution based on wood, replacing concrete with timber for the structural elements of his project. Wood is the answer to many of our difficult questions. It is energy efficient, allows prefabrication, recycling and is light but load-bearing. In addition, it has positive sensory benefits, creating a very pleasant environment. Master Management Group, MMG, was one of the first developers to recognize the huge potential of Wuj. They built their flagship Hypiotrakowska mixed-use office and service complex at the very center of a city where the local authorities have implemented an urban infrastructure and revitalization program that continues to transform the city. Well, I think uh, over the last couple of years, the Polish real estate market is, has been resilient. Uh, it's had some issues in different uh, sectors. But if you look at it today, everyone has come through and come through strong and you see certain sectors that are really still growing and see a lot of growth ahead of themselves. The city of Wuj is, has been a great place to invest. I think the city in a whole is doing a lot on only with infrastructure, but also drawing new international tenants and national tenants to base themselves in Wuj. And it's been really great to work with such an aggressive city. 
the warehouse and logistics sector in Poland continues to reach new, unprecedented heights. For warehouse and logistics investor Accolade, ESG is at the very core of its approach to infrastructure for modern business, with 47 fully BREEAM certified parks in six countries in Europe, including diverse locations in Poland, such as Szczecin and Białystok. Poland is becoming not only a regional security leader, but also economic leader of the whole Central Europe. Poland has taken perfect advantage of the emerging trend of deglobalization and nearshoring. We are convinced that the entire market has potential to grow up to 40, even up to 50 million square meters. Clean energy is a path that Greater Poland Energy Valley wants the whole region to follow. Once dependent on fossil fuels, this region aims to be CO2 neutral by 2030 and base their prosperity on a change powered by wind and thermal energy. Wielkopolska Dolina Energii to region Wielkopolski Wschodniej, który świadomie wchodzi w proces transformacji energetycznej. Odstępujemy od produkcji energii opartej o spalanie węgla brunatnego i do 2030 roku zamierzamy to uczynić. Region Wielkopolski Wschodniej od kilku lat przechodzi proces transformacji energetycznej. Miasto Turyga, by usprawnić ten proces, utworzyło turecką strefę inwestycyjną. If there's any company which embodies Poland's business confidence, strength and diversity, it's Griffin Capital Partners, which has grown from real estate origins to become the CE's biggest private equity fund across many sectors. Griffin's business and investment confidence is built on secure foundations. We started originally in real estate but evolved over time in the private equity business, capitalizing from our, let's say, network. We do think that Poland uh, has been extremely lucky, but also wise in the decisions taken by politicians by the end of 90s and beginning of 2000s to uh, compete to join European Union and uh, join NATO. And we do think that Poland is uh, a very safe uh, country, given into account the participation in the two organizations and its closeness to the rest of, of Europe. And if there's a project which reflects Poland's economic ambition, it is a solidarity transport hub. With its development of a new airport and hundreds of kilometers of train track, STH is at the vanguard of building a more sustainable future for the country. The STH project is more than a single project, it's a program, uh, comprising two key elements, a, a hub airport, a network of railway improvements linked to a hub co-located at the airport. Uh, which makes it truly remarkable. I'm not aware in the 30 plus years that I've been in the aviation industry that anybody's ever truly tried to do a project of this nature. If Poland wants to try and grow into the aviation sort of global market, create the hub that we're trying to, to, to deliver for Eastern Europe, then yes, you simply can't do that from Chopin. You need uh, a greater range and flexibility of facilities and to be able to deliver them in a sustainable manner by a, a railway system that is envisaged is, is yeah, quite visionary. STH is an investment program that's going to create a new transport system for Poland. Uh, we analyzed what's missing in the current Polish transport infrastructure and we are going to add that to a comprehensive system, meaning uh, hub international airport, a high-speed rail system, uh, almost 2,000 kilometers of new rail lines, a couple thousand of modernized existing ones, also some amendments in the road infrastructure. I strongly believe that uh, the STH can be a key milestone of the Poland future. STH is the biggest construction project, the biggest infrastructure project in Europe and will be for coming years. So it's the place to be. Uh, there are hundreds of business opportunities. Poland today is unrecognizable from the country it was just a couple of decades ago. It is a global success story, the most resilient economy in Europe, a leader in the region, and a country its neighbours can count on in times of crisis. Now the Polish people are stepping up to meet new challenges. They will overcome them, as they always do, and continue to exceed expectations.